Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear me? Okay. Excellent. Thank you for answering, Lorena. Okay, let's go. All right, so we have Lorena, George, Nelson, Flor, Adrian, Michelle, Zaira, Billy, Edwin, Maria. Very good. Welcome to the class. Thank you, Francisco. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> All right, what time is it? 9. 9 p.m. 9 p.m. It's time for your, let's see. English is not a subject. English is a life skill. What's a life skill? It's What's the that? ability of the person to communicate uh, the ideas to another person. Right. I think. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me write that in the chat. Life skill. Life skill. Do you think driving is a life skill? Yeah, in, in, in our time, I think that yes, it's a life skill. Okay, do you think swimming is a life skill? <sighs> Can, can swimming save your life? No. Yes, of course. Yeah. Can driving save your life? Look, it's an emergency. Let's take Francisco to the hospital. Yes. Yeah. English, can English change your life? Yes. Of course. Sure. Of course. Maybe. Of course. <laughs> that's, that's the reason why you guys are here. You know, so English is a life skill. So are you ready for your life skill training? Yes. yes. Excellent. Very good. Uh, good evening. My good evening. name is Francisco Marroquin Bardales. Uh, I forgot to put my, my name there, but I don't think we have to. Uh, my name is Francisco. I'm 49 years old. I live in Lourdes. I'm married. I have five children. And I'm an English teacher. And also, um, I do administrative work in an in a English call center in San Salvador. And I work for different institutions. I teach different levels. And uh, basically, that's me. Any questions so far? No? No, in my case, no. OK, what's my yeah. name? What's my name? My name is Francisco. Uh -huh. How old am I? You are 49 years old. 49. I'm 49. What is my marital status? So I'm married. You're married. I'm married. married. You say, well, you have five children. You should be married, but not necessarily. <laughs> yes, I'm married. I'm married. <laughs> uh, and what is my occupation? A teacher, English teacher. I'm an English teacher. Do I have another job? Yes, in a what call center. Job? What do I do in the call center? Administrate. Something yes. like that. Uh, yes, um, I do administrative work in a call center. Yes. Any questions or comments? No? Okay. No. First no. observation. What do you need to do to go to the next level? What is INSA for asking from you? Got eight. Okay, where? Uh, in the platform. Excellent. In the platform. Listen carefully. Let me give you this example. I am, I am late. That is the answer in the platform. I am late. But imagine that I write it like this. What's the problem with that sentence? You have um, space. Exactly. So if I put too much space 
in my answer, the platform will not read it. So okay. the answer is good, the answer is good, but if you leave too much space, the platform will, will not accept it. Okay. Let me do another example. No, not this one. All right. What's the problem with that sentence? The capital letter. Aha, uh -huh, exactly. So the correct form should be with capital letter. How do you say minuscula in English? Uh, lowercase. 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 If I ask you, do you use a computer every day? Yes, I use a, a computer every day. So you need to know vocabulary related with technology. So you say, Francisco, what's your email? And I give you my email. But I forgot to tell you that the first letter was capital. So you need to have the capacity how to say minuscula, mayuscula, and, and all that. In the cell phone. In the cell phone. All right. Um, so when you're doing the, the, the exercises in the platform, please be careful and please be concentrated of not leaving too much space or putting two words together or... Give me a second. Or the other one. Give me a second. All right, what's the problem with that sentence? It doesn't have a, a end point. A period. A yes, period. it doesn't have a period. Very good. So little things like this will make your answer not to be readable by the platform. So once again, uh, when you're typing your answers, be careful with punctuation, spelling, spaces, or what's missing in that question? Apostrophe. In uh, the, the sign of the... the apostrophe. Okay, there is no apostrophe. That's one. And what is the other one? Question, the question mark. mark. Question mark. So remember, question marks, uh, they have a function. So remember, Spanish is flat. Como te llamas? Que te dijeron? Donde fuiste? Your intonation is the same, but English is a different story. So keep it in mind. Questions or comments, ladies and gentlemen? No. No? No. Okay. Yes, I have one. Yes, question. ask me, please. Yeah, that's a suggestions are for only the final uh, exam that is in each lesson no or it's this these observations are for all the exercises that you will find in the platform okay all the exercises yep but the person who's who uh, introduce the 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 class uh -huh. say that there are some tests that can be uh, do right. uh, uh, a lot of time. Yes. So it's for exercises and also for evaluations. It's for both. Okay. Yep. So remember, okay. you need to have 80% of all the exercises in the platform. In the platform. Okay. Questions or comments? Okay, so when you introduce yourself, what kind of information do you include? Do you share? My name. Age. Age. Name. Name. Profession. Profession. Career. Career. Uh huh. Uh, Where do you live? Hobbies. Okay, how do you say so? Estado civil in English. Status. 
Marital status. Marital status. Marital yes. Marital and listen status. to this. Marital, marital status. status. Todo lo que usted es nuevo para usted o se le había olvidado, write it again. Write it again. Escríbalo. Porque le puedo preguntar dentro de una semana. How do you say estado civil in English? Like, oh, you mentioned it, but uh, oh, I didn't write it. So you need to copy uh, all the information that is new for you. Okay. Uh, any questions before you start speaking? No. About the evaluation in the platform, how many times uh, I came to to make the evaluation? Only uh, one time? No, you can make it uh, different times. So imagine you're doing the evaluation or the exercise, and let's say your grade is a seven, you can always make corrections and improve the grade. Okay, thank you. So there is no limit on the number of times that you will try to and, and, and score better. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Other questions, class? Any questions? Let me ask you, what do you usually do from 9 to 10 p.m.? I what, used what to day? work. Okay, work. Someone else? I usually watch TV. Okay, I usually watch TV. What I else? usually study. You usually study. Very good. Who else? What else? I I usually eat the dinner. Okay, very good. Someone else? I usually wash the dishes. Okay, someone else? I usually go to sleep. Excellent. At nine o'clock is the nice time to go to sleep. The following day, you, you wake up with a lot of energy. Oh my God, I slept eight hours, nine hours. <laughs> do you have insomnia or do you sleep like a baby? I Sometime. have insomnia. <laughs> you have insomnia? I usually sleep well. Yep. Mm. Okay, so listen. Todos los que están acá deben de hacer algo entre las nueve y las diez. Así que no se me queden callados. What do you do? Los que no han dicho nada. What do you do from 9 to 10 p.m.? I am working. You're working? Okay. What else? I am usually working in an aside project. Okay. Fine. Someone else? I usually watch TV. Okay. Fine. All right, someone else? And sometimes I can I come in a transportation of my work. Okay, good, good. All right, someone else that wants to go to the gym? You go to the gym? Yes. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So everybody's doing different activities. You wash dishes, you go to sleep, you watch television, you're working, you're studying, you're going to your house. So different things. Okay, so first volunteer to introduce yourself. Mm -hmm. Only one, don't fight, only one. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Yolanda. Okay, my name is Yolanda de Trejos. I am 47 years old. I'm married. I have two, two girls. Um, um, I am computer engineer, and I live in San Salvador. Good. What part of San Salvador are you in? In near um, 75 North Avenue. Okay. All right. Escalor near. North. Yeah, Escalor near near San Antonio Abad. Yes. Okay. Good. I know San Salvador very well. Okay. I I, I should be a taxi driver. Ah, All right, thank you, Yolanda. Carla Celada. Hi, Hello. my name is Carla Celada. I'm 23 years old. Um, what else? Uh, uh, I'm single. I work in uh, duty free. Uh, I'm uh, work with Chanel and 
That's it. Okay, <laughs> I good. live in Soyapango. <laughs> okay. What part of Soyapango do you live in? In Sierra Morena. Okay. Sierra Morena. Good. Thank uh -huh. you. Thank Not you. Not as dangerous. <laughs> no, no. It's no. next to Las Brisas, right? Yes. Wow. You know very well the street. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I know where everybody lives here. We'll oh. see. Thank you, Carla. Okay. Next one. Lorraine. My name is Lorena Peña. I am 48 years old. I'm married since 26 years old. And I have a boy and a girl. And I'm a tutor. I'm a teacher, but I work as a tutor of mine. And I live in Ayutuxtepec. Ayutuxtepec. What part of Ayutuxtepec? In front of Ciudad Corinto. Oh, good, good. Nice. They got some nice houses there. Swimming pool too, huh? Good. I live in front. No. Okay, not exactly there. Okay, good. Thank you, Lorraine. Who's next? Next. Maria Moran, thank you. Hello. Yes. My name is Maria Moran de Osorio. Um, I live in Santa Ana. Uh, I'm married. I have uh, four sons and two daughters. Well, you got six kids. Yes. Big family. Uh, yes, it's, it's searching. Uh, how do you say hijos? I don't know. <laughs> you, you're, you're searching for children? No, 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 no. I, I need uh, uh, to know how do you say hijos? Children. You can say children. Children. Uh, children. Yeah. children. Uh-huh. Okay. Thank okay. you. And what, what, uh, uh -huh. I, Go ahead. Okay, um, I, I work in uh, Universidad Católica, Micaels. Oh, okay. And I am an auditor. You are? Can and you please repeat? I am very glad. So glad to start. Uh, please? What do you do in Unicaes? I am an auditor. Oh, oh okay. Yes. You like numbers? Uh, more or less. <laughs> okay, thank you, Maria. Okay, who's okay. next? Time is money. Yes. My name. Hi, yes, my name is Silvia. I am 34 years old and I have two kids. I'm living in San Lorenzo, Aguachapan. Oh, okay, good. Thank you, Silvia. Someone else? Me. Next. Me. Hello. Huh. Sorry. My <laughs> name is Tania Hernandez. I live in Soyapango. I have a baby. Uh, actually, I study at University uh, de El Salvador. I study international affairs. Um, I am 30 years old. Good. Very good. Thank you, Tania. Flora? Hi. My name is Flor. Um, I work in the Minister of Finance. Uh, I am 35 years old. I have a, a daughter and that's it. Ah, I live in Santa Tecla. Oh, okay, good, thank you. Nice. Thank you. Next one. Next. Miren, fíjense los que no se presentan, no duermen bien el primer día, dicen todos hablaron menos yo. So everybody Hello. Yes. Hello. Jose Edgar. Uh, my name is Edgar Ochoa. I live in Soyapango, San Salvador. Uh, I have uh, uh, three girls. Uh, yeah, I my job is uh, auditor. Auditor. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank you, Jose. Who was next? Hi. Yes, Hello. Corey. Uh, hi, my name is Corey Monterosa, and I am I am a lawyer. I'm 28 years old, and currently I have a an office. Excellent. That's it. Okay, where do you live, Corey? I live in Metapan City. Oh, 
Uh, we have a lot of people from Metapan in, in, in Inglés Corporativo. Okay, good. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> Rosa Lopez. Rosa. Uh huh. Someone else? Volunteer? Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear you, Mr. Montoya. Uh, my name is Adrián Montoya. I am 23, almost 23 years old. I live in San Salvador. Uh, my career is I study aviation and I work in my family business and in a family business and I am single. <laughs> All right. Good. Uh -huh. So you take your classes in the Ilopango airport? Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. All right. Thank you, Adrian. Next one. Okay. Hi. Yes, Hi, Jorge. George. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you perfectly. Okay. Uh, I'm Jorge Daniel Diaz. Uh, I am 50 years old. Uh, I work for the government uh, in the IT department. Uh, I live in, in Mexica Mexicanos near to uh, Central Down. Uh, I'm married. I have three uh, children. Uh, they, they are not children, but uh, coming soon, I am, I am a grandfather. I am, I am uh, my, 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 my sister. My daughter. Your uh, daughter. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, George. Next volunteer. Hi. Yes, Ana Menjiva. Uh, um, I am Ana Carazo. Um, I live uh, in Nuevo Cuscatlán. Um, I am business administration, okay. administrator. Administrator. Uh, uh -huh. I am uh, Mary. I have four daughter. I am retired. Um, I am very happy uh, uh, for a study new module. Okay, a new model. Very good. Thank you, Annie. Who is next? Next. Hi. Yes, who said I? Michelle. <laughs> yes, Michelle. Uh, good evening. My name is Michelle Munoz. I'm 19. I study in University of El Salvador. And I study, I study lawyer, law. Yeah, law. No. Uh -huh. I live I live in Sayapango. Good, very good. Thank you, Michelle. Who is next? Who is next? Next. Okay, no one else? Hi, everyone. Yes, go ahead. Hi, hi everyone. Yes, my Edwin. Name is, my name is Edwin Landos and I am twenty-three years old and I live in Lourdes, too. What like part of teacher. Lourdes? In Nuevo Lourdes. Really? I live in Nuevo, too. <laughs> really? Yeah, Senda 11A. Ah, uh, okay, good. Uh-huh. Good, and, and I am a driver. Good, very good. Thank you, Edwin. That, that's it. Good, very good. Someone else? Hi. Yes, Mauricio. Uh, I'm Jeremy. Hi, my name is Jeremy. Oh, sorry. I'm 19. Yeah, it's okay. My, I am 19 years old. I work to a restaurant. Uh, I I live in Soyapango. Um, I like to read a lot of novels. Oh, okay, That's good. It. Do you read English or Spanish? And. I read more. I read more English, mm -hmm. but sometimes I read too. English. Okay. All right. Good. 
Thank you, Jeremy. Okay, who's next? Hi. Hi. Yes, Mauricio. My name is Mauricio. I am 47 years old. I am a liar. I like to play football. I live in Chachuapa, Santa Ana. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Mauricio. Anybody else? Anybody else? Hi. Good evening. Yes, Yvette. My name is Yvette Lara. I am a computer engineer. Okay. I'm 44 years old. I go in Minister of Finance. Finance. F finance. Okay. And I live in San Salvador. Good. What part of San Salvador are you in? Nurse Middle Valley. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you, Vet. Someone else? Someone else? Hello, everyone. Hello. Yes. Hello. Francis? Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello, teacher. Uh, my name is Francis Rivas. I live in San Salvador, near uh, Bernal Avenue. Um, I am an auditor. Good, very good. Thank you. Someone else? Hi. Yes, Billy. Uh, yes, I'm Billy. Uh, I'm 33 years old. I'm a software engineer. I live in San Salvador, San Salvador. <laughs> okay. All right, good. Thank you, Billy. Someone else? Someone else? Time Hello. is money. Yes, Rose. Um, my name is Rosa Lopez. I live in Santa Ana. I am 40 years old. I'm business administrator. I'm married and I have three children. Okay, good. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Rose. Someone else? Someone else? Yo sé quiénes no han hablado. Anybody else? Anybody else? Hello. Hello, Hazel. Hello, my name is Hazel Fernandez. Um, I'm 22 years old. And I live in Alta Vista with my parents. And I currently study in Don Bosco University, a business administrator. And I love cats. And that's it. OK, good. Nice. Uh, thank you. Anybody else? Something else? Anybody else? All right. Hi, everybody. Yes, Felix. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I am working for the Ministry of Hacienda. I have, I have been working for the Ministry of Hacienda for two years, eight years, eight, okay. eight years, I'm sorry. And I have 40, 30, 40 years old, and I live in Mexicanos, uh, near the former constitution. Okay. I study business administration, and I have a master in finance. All right. Good. Thank you, Felix. Okay. Okay. So, do you see the chat where I wrote IRS? Sorry, I didn't, uh, hold on. Hey, IRS, do you see IRS? What does yes. IRS mean? IRS means Ministerio de Hacienda, IRS. Uh, so if you're okay. speaking with a gringo and they ask you, uh, so where do you work? You simply say, I work for IRS and he will automatically make the connection with the Ministry of Hacienda. All right, what is anyways. The meaning? What is the meaning of the IRS? Uh, internal Revenue Service. Internal Revenue Service. Yes. Okay. IRS. Info. Yep. All right, so uh, raise your hand if you have checked the platform. If what? If you Sorry? have checked the platform. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Who remembers? Who remembers the first the first topic in the platform? It's about the the tense, about the past tense. Exactly. Past tense. Exactly. 
Exactly. Yes. Um, how many tenses are there in English? Okay. How many tenses? In person, person simple tense. present. Uh -huh. Simple present, oh. simple past, past continuous, present perfect, present continuous, blah, 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 blah. How many? Uh, maybe 24? Uh, actually, it's half. It's half. 12. I'm, I'm oh. touching my eyes because I just put, what's the name of this? Alcohol. Not really. Alcohol is what we drink. Okay. <laughs> what's what's the name of this? Sanitizer. Sanitizer. Exactly. Sanitizer. Sanitizer. Uh, sanitizer. So sanitizer. How frequent do you say alcohol hell in Spanish? How frequent? Mm. All the time. Uh, All the I time. Don't, I don't I don't talk. I don't okay. say that. I don't say that. Okay, I say it because I have children. I said, you sanitize her, you sanitize her, you sanitize her. Okay. Anyways, um, there are 12 tenses. There are 12 tenses in English. Usually. Always. There are 12 oh. tenses in English. Hay 12 tiempos gramaticales. Every tense has a specific function Every tense has a particular structure. The simple past tense is a tense that people use all the time. Let me ask you. ¿Qué tan seguido habla en tiempo pasado usted en español? Mm. Frequently? Many times? Many times? Yes. Ay, que fui al super. Ay, que me llamaron. Ay, que fui a pagar, no sé qué. You use it all the time. English, English has the same frequency. You need to be a master when you're using the simple past tense. Why are you in this class? Let me ask you. Why are you in this class? Why? Uh -huh. What's the reason you're in this class? Sacrificing... Uh, okay. <laughs> your sleep, your your favorite TV program, your family. Why are you here? To learn because I, I need to improve my pronunciation in different tense. Okay. Because it's important to speak correctly. Exactly. So he said something very important. Your goal, your communication, um, communicating with others has to be your priority. I understand the other person, the other person understands me, fine. But if your communication is grammatically well-structured with right pronunciation, blah, 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 that's even better. Now, when you use Spanish every day, you try to speak as good as possible. Am I right? Yes. yes. Right, English is the same. English is the same. So uh, the simple past tense is the first tense, the first activity you will see in the platform. Volunteer to explain the differences between regular and irregular verbs. What's the difference? Change the form. What changes the form? In the verb. Okay. Well, how do they change? Okay, regular verbs. And this is for the rest of your lives. Es para el resto de sus vidas. What's a regular verb? Can you give me examples? Move. Walk. 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 Do. Okay, let me see. Walk. What is the past tense of walk? Walk. 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 You add ed. You add ed. And ED sounds like a T. Walked. Walked. How do you say caminé dos kilómetros? I walked. I walked. I walked two kilometers. kilometers. So you arrived to your house very tired. They said, why are you tired? Man, I walked two kilometers. Walked. You don't say walking. 
You say walk. 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 How do you say jugar in English? Play. 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 What is the past play. tense of play? Play. 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 Good. Play. The past tense of play is played. 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 Mm -hmm. How do you say necesitar? Need. 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 Okay. Need. What is the past tense of need? Need. 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 Excellent. Good. All right. So how many, how many different sounds do we have for ED in past tense? D and Okay. So never again, never again say walk it, play it, fix it, watch it. That's not good. So if I said, How was your weekend? Oh, I worked 10 hours. It's not working. I worked. I worked 10 hours. So how was your day off? Oh, it was very nice. I play it with my children. No, it's not play, it's played. Oh, it was very nice, thanks. I played with my children at the park. And then you have the last one. The past tense of need is needed. These are regular verbs. Regular verbs are the ones that you put ed for conjugation in the past tense. Questions or comments? Questions, questions? No? Right. Any question? Two, four, five. So let me see this here. Here. All right, let me see. Right here. So it's not only communicating, but communicating well. This is the explanation. How do you say captura de imagen? Screenshot. 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 Exactly. Si no sabe o si se quedó callado o callada, espere porque está cansado o cansada. Porque si no lo dijo y no lo apuntó, no, no. Vamos a ponerlo acá. Ah, ah, I entertain. Libertad. Libertad. All right. Uh, screenshot. Right now, you can make a screenshot. Let me ask you Is your cell phone English or Spanish? Be honest. Um, English. English. My cell phone is in English. Okay. English. My cell phone right. and my computer. Okay. So uh, what about your computer? Is it English or Spanish? English. 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 Spanish. Okay. English. Now let me ask you, do you need more Spanish in your life? No, no. I need more English. <laughs> English. Ah, uh -uh. So this is what I'm saying. If you program your cell phone to English, your vocabulary will expand it will expand. How do you say llamada perdida? Missing call. Missing call. Okay, listen. Missed call. Missed call. Missed call. Missed call. Missed call. <laughs> the same rule that I will explain to you right now, this is the rule of, on how you pronounce ED for regular Miss. verbs. Miss. But when you say missed call, llamada perdida, what is missed in that particular case? Is it a verb, a noun, an adjective? An adjective. An adjective. An adjective. Llamada perdida. Mm -hmm. So de la misma manera que usted pronuncia el ED con verbos, va a ser lo mismo con los adjetivos. But anyways. So um, if your cell phone is in Spanish, 
nunca le va a parecer mesco. Siempre le va a parecer llamada perdida. Y su vocabulario siempre se va a quedar lo mismo. But if you transfer the language from Spanish to English, you say mesco. Mesco. Dialing. Dialing. Uh, settings. Configuration. Languages. Alarm. So your, your, your vocabulary will expand. But anyways, pay attention. This is for the rest of your lives. This is the explanation on how the three forms of ED are pronounced. If the termination of the verb is any of this, the ED will be pronounced like a T. So you will say helped, washed, and cooked. Never say help it, never say wash it, never say cook it. It's helped, washed, and cooked. Si la terminación de los verbos es esta, o no tiene vibración, the ED sounds like a T. Any questions? Look at the second one. If the termination of the verb is any of this, or vowel sound, ED will sound like this. And that's the reason why you say played, lived, and rained. Ah, sí. Pero si no en el teléfono, que no era como así. Questions. Played, lived, and rained. So voiceless means no vibration. Voice means vibration. Put your hand here. Everybody, todos pónganse la mano acá. Put your hand here. Go ahead. It's an exercise. Todos pónganse la mano acá. Okay, you ready? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hey, teacher, welcome. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I lost connection. I don't know why. Um, anyways, um, no what, what was I explaining? Um, regular verbs. Regular verbs. You're explaining about the pronunciation. The sound. And oh, the, the sound. Yeah. Yes. The sound. Exactly, the sound. Exactly. Thank you. So look here. Um, so I was asking you to put your hand here. Pónganse la mano acá. Like this. Pero no se apriete mucho. Okay. So when you say, how do you say arreglar in English? Fix. Repair? Fix. 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 No tiene vibración. How do you say lavar? Wash. 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 No vibration. Wash. Wash. Help. 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 No vibration. So, a eso nos referimos con el primer grupo que dice voiceless. Voiceless means no vibration. So, <laughs> if the termination of the verb doesn't have vibration, then the ED will be uh, pronounced like a T. Helped, washed, fixed, watched. How do you say pesar in English? Kiss. Kissed. Kiss. Kissed. Kiss. So le preguntan, ¿y qué pasó en tu primera cita? Oh, we only kissed. We only kissed. Right? Yes. Creo que tienen a su esposo, a su esposa, y puedo poner todo serio. Okay. You don't remember. Okay, you don't remember. <laughs> Good. <laughs> All right. So, in the second group, how do you say jugar in English? Play. 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 How do you say limpiar? Clean. 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 Quedarse, Clean. quedarse. Stay. 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 Those three examples, clean, play, and stay, 
They have vibration. Tienen vibración. Por eso es que la ED suena como una de solita. En the last one, ahí no nos interesa si tiene o no tiene vibración. If the last sound, if the termination of the verb is D or T, then you pronounce the ED exactly the same way you write it. So ahí no hay voiceless or voiced. Any questions or comments? No? The verb, the verb that uh, have vibration, vibration, ending in, uh -huh. ending in T, like yeah. T. Okay. Uh, can, can you see the image? Okay. Please. Sorry. No. Okay. Can you see the image? No. 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 Okay, no. Hold on. Give me a second. I must have done something when I lost connection right here. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. yes. Okay. So please take a screenshot. Take a screenshot. I did. Okay. I did. So I said, it is a screenshot. Ya, ya les dijimos que es a screenshot. So you take a screenshot. This is for the rest of your life. How do you say compartir? Share. 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 Anything that you learn, it is necessary that you share with your family, with your neighbors, with your friends, classmates, students, whatever. So once again, pay attention. Number one, no vibration. No vibration. No vibration. No vibration. No vibration. So see, if the last sound doesn't have vibration, ED sounds like T, and that's why you say helped, washed, and cooked. Second group, there is vibration. So examples are here plus vowels. What are vowels? What are vowels? A, E. A, E, I, O, U. Okay. So if the termination is right here, then the E, D sounds like this. So you say played lived, rained. So no vibration, vibration. In number three, we don't care if the sound has vibration or not, you will pronounce the ED exactly the same way that you write it. So you say waited, wanted, and needed. Questions or comments? This applies only for regular verbs. Okay, for regular verbs. These are regulars. What are irregulars? Ya dijimos que el regular es el que para... Is, is when the verb it changed completely. Right. Can you give me an example? Mm. Oh. Begin, began, begun. Oh. Okay, okay. Regular verbs. Speak. Play. Take. Play. Ahí vamos otra vez. Regular mm -hmm. verbs, play, play. Irregular. Eat, eat. eat. Okay. Eat, eat. eat ate. Eat, ate. Where? What? Go, went. Drink, drunk, drunk. Okay. Drive. Drop. Drive. Drive. Uh -huh. Okay. So, I don't know if you guys have the chance to hear an American that doesn't speak Spanish that well. They said, oh, I hear yo ir a la playa. Do you understand the message? Yes. The message is there. Grammatically speaking, it's not good. Because he was supposed to say, ayer yo fui a la playa. But instead of saying yo fui, he says, yo ir. So you will sound the same if you don't know the conjugation of the verbs. So it's necessary that you know the, the past tense of your verbs. Questions or comments? Okay. 
Pregúnteme si pagué los libros. Did you pay the books? Did you pay the books? Did you pay the books? To pay the books. What's the auxiliary that I use to make questions in past? Did. Did. What happens to Did. the verb, to the main verb? Become. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. It doesn't change. It stays base form. Base form. So in Spanish you say, fuiste, pagaste, le llamaste. The verb is in past. But English is different. So you use auxiliary did and the form of the verb stays base form. How do you say no fui? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't go. go. I didn't go. go. I didn't go. So you use auxiliary didn't, go. didn't. The form of the verb stays base form. You got it? Yes. How do you say te vi ayer? I saw, I saw you, you yesterday. You yesterday. Uh -huh. saw I saw yesterday. you yesterday. Right. I saw you yesterday. Y si andaba donde no debía que andar, le dicen, ¿dónde? Mm -hmm. oh, I, I saw you yesterday. I saw you yesterday. So, when the information is positive, the form of the verb is in past. <laughs> Esto que les acabo de explicar is when you're talking about actions. What are actions? Play, eat, go, explain, visit, sleep, eat. Those are uh, actions. So when do we use was and were? Was to, to he, she, it. and eat. Mm -hmm. And were? And were. To you, you, uh, you we, 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 they, they, they. So how do you say yo estaba preocupado? I was, I was, I was worried. I was worried. Is that an action or a condition? Condition. 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 How do you say nosotros estábamos felices? We were happy. We were happy. We were Excellent. Happy. We were happy. We were okay. Happy. We were happy. Is that an action or a condition? Condition. 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 So listen to this, and this is for the rest of your lives. When you're talking about actions, you use did or didn't. When you talk about conditions, you use was and you use were. Was and were. An observation, the past tense of are, it's not where, it's were. Were. Was, were. Was, were. Pregúnteme dónde estaba yo. Hey, Francisco, ¿dónde estabas? Where were you? 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 Okay, do you say where were you or where were you? Where were you? Where were you? Because where, where and were, the spelling is similar, but the pronunciation is completely different. So once again, you want to improve your pronunciation, your where, fluency, your accuracy. Where were you? Where were you? Uh -huh. Where were you? Where were you? Okay. Where were you? Let me ask you, when was the last time you arrived late to your house? Last Friday. Last Friday. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, last Friday, Yolanda came at 1 in the morning to the house. 2 a.m. 2 a.m. Imagine. That's even better. Where were you? So, they answered, Yolanda, where were you? Where were you? Um, at the party. At the party, All right. So the question is, where were you? You don't say, where were you? Porque ahí estaría diciendo, donde, donde tú, no. Where were you? Where were you? Where so you say, know? I was at a party, dancing. <laughs> right? Was the party good, Yolanda? Very good. Okay, nice. <laughs> All right. 
questions or comments? Questions or comments, people? <clears throat> okay. Okay, so uh, what did I tell you at the beginning of the session about the platform? What observations did I give you? That we have to do all the exercises that are there. How much? Uh, all. <laughs> all ah, if possible? Uh, uh -huh. That was one of my questions because uh, we have some sections, exactly five sections. Right. So I, I want to know uh, if it's normal that we complete one section at for in a in a week yes okay that's a very good question that's an excellent question pay attention everybody uh, you can okay like we're supposed to cover five units in four weeks so i will distribute the five weeks uh the, the four weeks in for the five units but if you want to move if you want to advance and you want to start working on the platform ahead of time, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. So for some people here, you said, oh, but this topic, I have seen it many times. I will do the work in the platform. You can, you can. Because at the end, Insafor will evaluate how much you have worked in the platform. Now, this session here is for you to practice. So the session is only one hour and uh, please come to class every day. It's only one hour, one hour. So keep that in mind. Any questions or comments before you guys are dismissed? Mm. Sure, I have, uh, uh, it's not a question. Maybe you give us an advice to how to apply in the correct way the different tense? Right, right. Uh, yes, I will explain. Remember, we have four weeks. Uh, there are 12 tenses, and, and listen to this. Fíjense bien lo que le voy a decir. Si usted logra entender los 12 tiempos gramaticales, your fluency and your accuracy will improve really fast. 12 tenses. So, si yo le digo, fíjese que llamó ella y dice que van a cerrar tarde. How many tenses did I use there? Llamó ella y dice que van a cerrar tarde. Llamó. Three tenses. Three tenses. Three tenses. So, I say it naturally, spontaneously. English has to be the same. So, she called and she says that they will close late. Three tenses in a few words. In a few words. So we have time to talk about the 12 tenses, Nelson. Sure. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. All right. So anything else? Any questions? Any comments? Los que no se presentaron, I'm going to give you a second chance. Si quieren ir a dormir tranquilos, si no, van a estar dando vuelta y vuelta que no, 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 no se presentaron. My name is Mary Resinos. Okay. Good night. Uh -huh. Oh, good night. Okay, okay, what's the difference between good evening and good night? Good well, night is because you go to when sleep. You go to sleep. I don't know. And good evening is when you say hello. hello. So at yeah, nine o'clock, at nine o'clock, uh, you say you good evening. Sleep. At 10 p.m., I say good night. All right? So thank you very much. Si tiene preguntas, las anota. Email us and you ask me tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Sleep well. Good night. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See ya. Good night. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Last night. See ya. Sleep well. Wash your hands. Brush your teeth. <laughs> Like getting me to <laughs>